up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Mommy Confessions. My name is Angel Akita Moore, also known as That Chick Angel. And I am one of your hosts of this show slash podcast. And to my right or left, whichever way, if you're watching, let's go ahead and tell them who you are, baby. I am Quinn Walters. What's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Hello. Or maybe not just another day we're doing this, but hey. <laughs> Is it, is it going to be? I mean, it might be too. Okay. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Tell us why, baby girl. Hi, everybody. I am Denota Walcott. Happy to be seeing you guys virtually and mostly in my mind because I really can't see you right now. But you can see me. <laughs> They can see you. If you want to be able to see us, you can watch this fantastic, hilarious, heartfelt, wonderful, all the things good in life show on both Facebook and YouTube at That Chick Angel on YouTube and at That Chick Angel Mommy Confessions on Facebook. However, you can also just listen to this because this is also a podcast and it is everywhere podcasts can be found. Now, Mommy Confessions, if this is your first time tuning in, is an honest just raw, real show about all things motherhood, about all things womanhood, where me and my homegirls and sometimes a guest just really let our hair down and are in a judgment-free zone. So today is no different. The way we like to start off this show is based off the name, Mommy Confessions. We like to confess a truth. And here at Mommy Confessions, we tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So, Quinn. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you are a first. And let me take a seal. Because mm. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed by this confession. Y'all, my Christmas tree is still up. Uh, Winifred! <laughs> Wait, in February? Now, now, truth be told, Ain't no decorations on the tree. I snatched the decorations off. However, it's a real tree. It's heavy. It's six uh, feet, seven. I, I cannot carry it out. Um, Aria can't help me. So <laughs> the damn tree is right here. It's just in my living room. All the little needles are on the floor. My vacuum is full of needles. And um, I don't know when the hell I'm going to get this tree out of my house. Does anybody have any advice? You know, it can be a Black History Month tree. You know, (laughs) bringing nature in, the the present, the past, and the future. (laughs) And the future. And the future. (laughs) I used to keep my son in law. Someone said put some hearts on it like Valentine's Day. I love that. Make it 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 up. Listen. So how, how are you going to get it about your place? place? What's that? How are you going to take? How are you going to get it about your place? I, so I mean, how, the St. Patrick's Day <laughs> is around the corner. Like, are we? Uh, what are we doing? It's true. It's true. <laughs> I told you. Green. Uh, listen, I'm. My building manager said to call the city and have them haul it out. But I've got to get it downstairs to begin with. I live on the second right. floor. Right. Got to get it downstairs. downstairs. Can you throw uh, it off? Your I think there's floor? a fee that the city that charges you for. to pick it up. No, no, no. no. It's not. It's not no, a fee. It's not a fee. At a certain point, at a certain point, there's a fee, but only if you have an abundance of things for them to pick up. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. You get at least one. Um, one, you get at least one bulk pickup a year. But two, now I will say you might be. Um, you might be out of the window of the Christmas tree pickup. Usually they have that for like the two, three weeks after Christmas. And you're, you're working on six months or so. I <laughs> never knew, sis. I never knew there was a window. And I always get a real tree, but I always get rid of it before, you know, my brother will come over or whatever. But yeah, this is the first time I haven't had any help. So COVID, COVID will mess you up. This is Pandemic it's I blame the Rona. It is Rona's fault. It's the Rona's fault. Well, uh, we ain't judging you. We just want to help you, sis. Thank That's you, the, thank you, thank you, ladies. Right thank you for the non-judgment. I appreciate you. Thank you. Listen, we all 
Denora, what what you got living up in your house that need to come out? What's your confession? Mm-hmm. Well, it's not as really about what's living, um, but it, it's about what needs to be revived. Um, I haven't had nor performed a pedicure on myself. And <laughs> I honestly don't know when. Um, now, I'm someone who enjoys the look of my feet. I think I have very attractive feet. But you do. I don't want anyone to see them right now. It's upsetting. <laughs> Um, I'm wearing flip flops right now, and I, I shouldn't because it, it's bringing me down a little bit, seeing what they look like. Mm-hmm. But um, that's my <laughs> confession: is that my feet have gotten no love. And no, I don't know when it's gonna happen. But your man love, love you, and he uh-huh. love your feet too. Your man loves you and your feet too. Thank you. I don't know mm-hmm. about the feet part right now. I'm okay. But yeah. <laughs> Let the church say amen. Hey man, listen, my my feet. I even bought one of those little feet spa things, the foot spa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's still in the box. Ain't ain't my feet ain't been in it. Literally today, because I was walking around in my backyard barefoot, trying to clean up stuff. My feet looked like I worked in a coal mine. When I, <laughs> I was like, I feel like I should be like, hi. Ho. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Hi, oh. Like, Hi, oh. like you've never so worn shoes a day in your life. Uh, right. No feet look like they had shoes on already. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Did you know how what's that otter case? Uh, otter box that for yeah. your phone? That's what it felt like I have on my feet is the otter Indestructible. box. Indestructible. Indestructible. Oh, um, yep. in other words, Zenora, I get it. I get it. Mine is a uh, girl, it is the worst. It's the I have a similar thing. Only once during this whole pandemic have I gotten groomed at all, and that was in preparation for doing um the movie that I was in because I was just like. These, I, I couldn't get my eyebrows together. I was like, this is getting terrible. I was like, so. I'm gonna. I'm going to be scared, but I'm gonna go and I'm gonna have my woman wax my eyebrows. Well, I got really scared after being there, and I was like, I can't, I, I can't do it no more. So yesterday, now this was so that was back in October, November is when that okay. happened. So we're now in February. The mustache hairs oh, yeah, were yeah. so disrespectful <laughs> yesterday. So mm-hmm. disrespectful. I waxed it on my own. And they were so disrespectful that there were a couple of big ones that just were like, I don't care about this way. It was <laughs> like, they were like, nope. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. They were just like, oh, sit my- up. like what Yo. you doing? Sis? I'm trying to pluck them. And they just, they just get like slick. So I can't pull them out. I was like, I was like, am I really going to have to take a razor to my face? Like, I know people who do that. Like, I watch Jackie Ina's videos, and she shaves yeah. her face. I can't. I just what? didn't know I could bring myself to doing it. Yes, she does no. it, like, once a month. That's one of her uh, beauty it's treatments. Called, she just did it real. dermaplaning. Is that what it's called? Call I would think if shave, it would grow more hair. I know for me it would. I know for you me. Know, you know, it's not necessarily that you're actually growing more hair. It's that the hairs themselves are now blunt. So it looks like there's more hair, but it doesn't encourage hair growth. It's just that, you know, like when you pluck a hair, you can see the end is very fine. It's that once it's shaved, now that hair is blunted. So it, it looks like there's more hair, but you know. No, there's more hair too. No, mine be coming in more. They be bringing a friend. They be like this. <laughs> There's more uh-huh. space. Come move in. Come and move in, sis. Come on. I am very happy to be here. Yes. <laughs> it's the worst. It is the worst. Is crazy. I, don't, I, I just, it's very frustrating. Chin hairs just be darn. It's all a hot mess. But you know what? <laughs> it's a mess. It is what it is. Well, we are now to the next point of this podcast show where we want to gas up a mom. This is called Hit the Gas, and we like to give love to um, and just uh, acknowledgement to a mom that we feel like has either recently done the damn thing or or has been or in the past, but 
here on Mommy Confessions, we just want to be able to show love to folks. So, um, Quinn, why don't you go ahead and let the people know who we are gassing up this episode? You guys, today we are gassing up the legendary, the iconic, the incomparable, phenomenal Cicely Tyson. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any other woman right now currently that is giving me the level of goosebumps that this woman gives me when I think about her career, when I think about the trailblazing that she's done for all of us. Like not even mm-hmm. just us, we're all actresses. So obviously she cemented mm-hmm. in our lives as a pioneer, as someone whose shoulders we all stand on. But I feel like she also um, has been a beacon for all women, black women especially. That was her mission to uplift the black community, to make sure that we were portrayed in a a good light, in a positive light, an uplifting light, and Mm -hmm. a respectable way at all times. And that was her mission. And I just have so much respect for her. I revere her to the fullest. I don't think there'll ever be another. She was just so graceful, so poised, all the just woman, just kind Mm -hmm. and strong and just standing in her space. You are not moving me. I believe what I believe. I'm fighting for what I'm fighting for. I'm not going to fall for any role. There's no amount of money that's going to make me sell my soul or my body or my mind or Mm -hmm. my, my ancestors. And I'm just so moved by her career. And I remember yeah. seeing her on the screen as a kid. And I, I knew she was dope then as a kid. Right? Like, this yes. woman's amazing. You right. know, when she was in Jane yes. Pittman. Yes. Girl, Miss Jane Pittman. Pittman. Yo. That was the movie. I was like, this woman played her, played Jane Pittman over like a six decade type yes. of life. Yes. Like, I thought that was incredible as a kid. I was trying to get my parents to explain. Can you, but how can she do this? Because I believe that she's really all these ages. And yes. that's a part of her brilliance. And that was a part of her dedication to the craft and her respect for the craft. And so Cicely Tyson, you are forever in our hearts. You changed mm-hmm. the game for us and you oh, yeah. changed the, the perception of our people in America to the world. And so Absolutely. I just, I know that we're all grateful that that, that we are, uh, we can look up to her and that we have uh, these great memories and all this great cinema that she produced and left us all with. Absolutely. Yes, I don't even have anything to add other than that she's no. my soul roar and I love her too. Yes. Oh That's yeah. It. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So today we're going to have a fun episode and I want you all to play along. Um, We are doing the ever so fun game. (laughs) Never have I ever. Get (laughs) get yourself a drink. (laughs) Make sure you sip in. Uh, My Patreon is actually watching us live. So Patreon, feel free to, if there's a never have I ever that you want to have asked, you can feel free to put it in the comments. I'll put it up on the screen. If you too want to be able to watch this show live, you can join my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash that chick angel. So, uh, Denora, no. I'll let you ask the first question. <laughs> I, you, I don't know why I agree to these things. You know, these things stress me out. I was like, yeah, let's do never have I ever. And then as soon as you said it just now, I was like, oh my God. Oh yes! My God. The same, Denora. The same. I'm like, yes, that's one. No, wait. Yeah. I don't want to do it. Ooh, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Um, This is going to, I'm going to just start with the, an easy one. Um, Never have I ever lied to get out of a date. So I drink if I have done the thing, right? Or I don't have yeah. to drink because I ask the question. No, you drink it. And then you explain. Explain yourself. Who you lie to, Denora? Who you out here lie to? Now, this is a long time ago. It was a long time ago, which is why I can bring this one up. <laughs> and it was basically, it was someone who, like, in the moment, it seemed like, oh, yeah, totally. Let's go out on a date. Like, I we met at a bar. And it just seemed like, you know, very easygoing. 
I'm sure it was because I was lit. And then once I was sober and it was supposed to be the date day, I definitely faked being sick. I, I think I even like brought up an audition. Like I just, oh, wow. it was like all the things. Once I realized, oh wait, that was him. Oh no, we're not, <laughs> we're not going out. We're not. Mm -mm. You were like, mm -mm, that is not no. what I'm doing. No, well, you are not out there alone. Shantae G of the Patreon was like, I might as well. Okay, I, you know since we're on lies, since we're on lies, uh, never have I ever purposefully become busy to avoid having sex. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Look at Quinn's face. She's like, nah, I ain't avoiding it. <laughs> <laughs> Clear the schedule. Clear the calendar. Okay? Oh, the Clear up. No, I got a thing. It's my, huh? <laughs> what? I got a thing. <laughs> I have definitely, if I... If I know that I'm just like, I can't do it. Listen, I will get myself in the middle. I'll shake Amar awake. Get up! Call the baby. Call the baby. Oh, it's too much. I got it. I did just say that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to save that for a confession for the next episode. Okay. But uh, yeah, no, sometimes my brain, when I know it's going to be too much energy for my brain to get on that page, I'll be like, ah, oh, man, but uh, I got to write a paper for, I'm not, <laughs> but I'm trying to write a paper. paper. I got a it. It's the blog. I started a blog. It was weeks ago. You didn't remember? I, I write a blog too. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> oh yeah, that definitely. Uh, 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 Quinn. Quinn. Uh, this I don't know. If this, okay, never have I ever um used. This is. Oh, I don't know. Why am I about to say this? You to think the thing that I'm about to say, but whatever. I know my truth. God knows my truth. Um, <laughs> never. <laughs> Never have I ever used my body, used my heart uh -huh. to get bills paid. Huh. Yeah. No. I, I probably should. No. Get it, <laughs> Angel. Get it, Angel. I I think never, Angel. I've never, you know. Use your body, yeah. Yeah, that's. Hey, the rinse do, Daddy. I never, I never got the bills paid. I it with Marcus, like when I want something, yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like ah, on your not like cool. Yeah. I got you the thing I want. I think I have. <laughs> I don't think I ever have. I think I'm so like I get it myself. Here I go. I can handle it. Yeah. I'll just eat crackers and peanut butter if I can't afford it. It's fine. Like, I didn't even yeah. think. While you're chopping wood. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Really? I feel like I've missed out now, though. Like, I'm a little upset that I, I didn't do it. I agree. <sighs> I agree. I one time tried to use a demure voice. Me and Quinn actually talked about this in a Mommy Confessions episode before where I purposefully softened up to get these people to change my tire, even though the store, they were open. They had four minutes left, but they were going to try to be like, oh, ma'am, we're closed. The normal me would have been like, no, you're not, because it's not seven o'clock. It's right. 6.56. But instead, I was like, oh, my gosh. What will I do? <laughs> oh, well, okay. I okay. was talking about that. Angel. Yeah. Angel. Angel. I've done that. <laughs> I've done that. I guess I just don't consider them the same thing because I figure, you know, in the same way that you're going to use a different tactic when you're talking to a baby, you're going to use a different tactic when you're, you know, trying to get an extra scoop of ice cream. Like, so is that the same that's not really well, using if your you, body. That's just using if, your tactics. Well, if it, your body can be a part of your tactics, though. Right. So, but, so, so the question is, if you've used the body, then drink. But if you've just you've used tactics for getting what you want. 
the, the, don't try to smooth it over, Denora. Your body is impressive. If you're using your sensuality to get things. <laughs> Did you use well, that? That's what we talking about that. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. that. Yes. 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 She's like, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Um, <laughs> somebody had a really good question. Hold on. I thought it was so good. I want to put it up on the screen. Ooh, yeah. Alex Nicole Morgan says, never have I ever had a wardrobe malfunction. Oh. Huh. I feel like I have to have. Oh, I've, oh yeah. Has anybody seen my Instagram? It's nip slips, booty oh, crack. Yeah. Yo, I had one live. Yes. Yeah. So did I. Oh, yeah. You had one at your birthday. Was it your birthday party? What was that? No, it was Jason's, um, uh, his yes. thing. <laughs> it was like the final day of my husband. Comic-Con. Comic-Con. Oh. Comic-Con. At Comic-Con? It was a live stream for yeah. Comic Con, mm -hmm. and Denora's out there, titty out. She's just out there, like, hi, hi. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> because it was at the end, too. It was like everything had gone smoothly. And then Aiden was drinking milk and then he moved the blanket or the blanket fell and he's just looking and my titty was just looking too. <laughs> like, how y'all doing? Hey, how y'all doing? Hi. How y'all doing? Hi. Hey. <laughs> no, from doing all these Facebook lives and stuff, I somebody had to DM me. It was like, Angel, you might want to erase that one because, and I looked back and I had leaned over the whole, I'm telling you, my titty was like, like, subscribe, and share. And then went back. <laughs> and they liked. And they subscribed and they shared. I said, oh my God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh like, God. It, it came all the way out, and I was leaned over because I was putting stuff in the garbage. So gravity was definitely so it was like <laughs> down the earth. it was literally like that hanging out my room. Lean low, <laughs> yeah. Lean low. <laughs> okay, let's do one more round. Denora, what's your question? What's your uh? Never have I ever. Um. You know what? Since we're drinking, uh, never have I ever been so drunk that I don't remember uh, a portion of the evening. That's never happened to me. Yeah. Really? Wait. Tell me. Yeah. What happened? You drink Kool-Aid. Moscato. Um, well, mine was, uh, it was actually pretty funny to me finding out about it. Uh, senior prom. So when I went to school, I had a lot of friends in different groups. And so we were all just happy. Like, it was a really, like, lovely after party. It wasn't insane. But I was celebrating with each of my groups of friends. And each group of friends had different alcohol. And I was still learning about alcohol at the time. Well, of course. Toast and be like, oh, my God, we're going to college. We're having a good time. Woo! And then I'd go to this group. <laughs> So I remember being like sitting with my date and being like, I don't feel good. And again, this was still very new to me. So next thing I know, it's like the next morning and you know, it's fine. Like there was like, I'm not injured or anything. Everybody's having a good time. We go to breakfast and people are like, oh my God, you were so funny. Yes. So, so funny last night. And I was like, I was. And they were like, you were like doing cartwheels in the in the backyard. You were like doing a comedy sketch over there. You did. I was like, I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Anyway, Wild. So that's when I discovered I'm a happy drunk. And you know, <laughs> that's really the takeaway. You're a happy the forgetting your mess drunk. <laughs> uh Quinn. Uh thinking back. So back in the day, I never have I ever lied about being sick to get out of going to school, whether that be elementary school, high school, college, um, or acting class. I've always <laughs> wanted to go. So never have I ever. College, definitely. <laughs> I'm not of my, uh, uh, what you call it? Listen, I was so bad sometimes. There was this workout class we had 
where we a run. It was a running class. I was a slow runner in college. I'm a slow runner my all my life. What am I talking about? I would let them get so far ahead and then I would run to our cafeteria. And I remember one time they finished up so they because you know they were white folk, they love those long distance, they got them long legs. I'm over <laughs> eating. They're coming through the line panting, looking at me. I was like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey. That's so sick. I had to eat something. I can't. I oh, no. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I yeah, I definitely have lied. Um, Deacon had a good one. Hold on. Let me. Deacon Chronicle says, never have I acted drunk to get away from somebody. Oh. I don't mm. think I have. I no. Like I would have I, used that as a tactic at some point. That's an idea, though. If the opportunity... That presented itself. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think I've done it, but that was a good question, Deacon. Yeah. Uh, it's so funny. Ernestine uh, from Patreon said, what about the drunk story Marcus told? The day drinking, you remember the whole time? Yes, I remember the whole time when Denora got me drunk and left me at her house to be Hang punished on. by my husband and to throw up on my Yorkie. I remember all of those pieces. I, I love how the story has been flipped that I did all these things. We were all the same age, first of all. Let me let me clarify that. Let me clarify that. Okay. Mm. We were having a great time. You have so many years of drinking on me. You just told these people you started drinking at 13. <laughs> and then... <laughs> we, were like, we were graduating from grade school. We were all like, woohoo! Here we, here we come. <laughs> oh snap. Just rude. So yeah, don't believe Angel. That was not my fault. I told her what she was getting. I told her it was alcohol. She was having a good old time, splashing in the pool, bathing in the sun, and drinking way too fast. So don't don't listen, don't listen to her. Don't listen to Angel. I was drinking as fast as they were being made. And shoveled down my throat because I'm a good hostess. <laughs> That's why what? I was caring for okay. my friends. <laughs> okay, last but not least, <clears throat> get it, Angel. Get it. Never have I ever had to lie to my child about when I was having sex. No. No. <laughs> because they would have heard you in the act or just whatever whatever reason that she had to whether it be because they're like how did you make this baby mom or how do you make how you gonna make this baby that i want oh yeah or why were you screaming now i don't see it as a lie because <laughs> I... it was just a tactic huh? <laughs> yes, it was word of the day word of the day tactic Good answer. No, but Angel, go ahead and tell your story. I saw you drink. Oh, why well, be lying to my kids? I'll, me and Daddy are talking. Don't you come back to this door? <laughs> We're having a conversation. <laughs> and we are. It's not a full lie. There is a conversation happening. It's just there not a lot of conversation. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of body language conversation. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've definitely yeah. lied. Have to, I have to. Oh my goodness, you guys, this was fun, right? This was a fun, was so like, fun. Little, we always have fun. fun. What do you mean? We, one day we'll have to do an after dark one, though. This one was pretty tame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let's do we'll it. Do, yeah, we'll have to do one where we start off already tipsy and then begin to ask questions. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I don't like any of that. Oh, forget it, just forget Ooh. it. I'm, just I'm forget like, it. I might be sick that day. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All it's right. just a tactic. You guys, make sure you come back next week for another episode of Mommy Confessions. This show goes up every Thursday on Facebook, YouTube, and wherever podcasts can be listened to. You can follow me at That Chick Angel across all platforms. Quinn, tell them where they can find you. You guys can follow me at 
Quinn Walters and follow my brand at Beyond Pretty Brand. T-shirts and hoodies. <laughs> get, get, and get, you, get, Denora? You can find me at Denora Walcott across all the platforms and all the places. Just look for me. I'm there. I'm there. <laughs> all right until next time you all be blessed again a very special thank you to my patreon that is in the building and we will see you all later bye, bye y'all bye.